it. Double up, double up. Well, good morning. Today we are back on Lake Superior for the second time this year. Our first trip, Weldon and I were up here doing a little walleye fishing. And we caught a couple fish, but it wasn't anything crazy. We're in a different part of the lake right now, and we're targeting lake trout this morning. Right now uh, with some lead core and some dipsy divers. So uh, it's a perfect day, just a nice breeze. And I think we're gonna get into some fish today. So we got all our lines set. Now we just gotta dial in our speed and hopefully get bit here shortly. Oh yeah. Oh, he was swimming oh, yeah. at you. He was swimming at you. <laughs> he was coming with me. <laughs> that ain't no coho. No. No, you got a good one. Oh, we got another hey, one. Hey, you got on. another one on. Double up, doubled up. Yeah. Doubled up. Like a here, I think. Yep. I'm gonna give you the net. Right. Because you're gonna need it before I do. Now we're talking! Nice. I'll get this one dropped and get ready for you. So we've been kind of cruising 80, 70, 80, and we just hit 90 feet and just doubled up right there. That's what fishing is, man, right here. <laughs> doubled up. Okay guys, so I've got 12 feet a liter off this dipsy, so when I get up to the dipsy, I gotta walk backwards to get this fish close enough to net. So that's where this Frable extendable net comes in handy too. So there's the fish. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, nice. that's a nice fish. I was mostly fighting. All right, now I'm gonna walk back. Good. Nice lake trout there. He hit that fly off the, the flasher on the dipsy. Two really nice eaters right there. That's exactly what we're looking for. So um, hopefully we can pick off a big one today, but this is a really good start. We got our third fish on here. Another good eater. So we just turned around to go back through that spot where we doubled up and uh, hooked another one, another one on a flasher and a spinning glow. It's an awesome combo for lake trout. Nice, another nice eater right there. So what's kind of interesting so far that we found is we hooked one fish about 30 feet down over 90 feet of water and then we hooked one probably 80 feet down. So. They're definitely suspended in the water column. That last one I'm guessing was about 50 feet. So we're just spreading our baits all over the column. Looks like we got a fish on right now. So it seems like flasher flies are the ticket today. This is our third fish on a flasher fly on the dipsies. So we've only caught one fish on the lead core so far. Yeah, you definitely don't have to be on the bottom for these lake trout. Especially this time of year where you got surface temps around 65 degrees. They'll be suspended all over in that water column chasing bait. We've been seeing fish at about 50 feet, 40 feet, kind of up there in the column. So there's no need to have downriggers. We don't have a downrigger at all on this boat. And we're hooked up on our fourth lake trout right now in about an hour. So you definitely don't need downriggers to come out here and do this. We'll go over the gear in a little bit here, just exactly how I'm setting these dipsies and lead cores up, but. Another perfect eater on that flasher and fly combo. That flasher is what attracts these fish to that fly and then they hit that fly, so. All right, so I'm gonna go over a little bit of what we're using today. We just, uh, we caught our limit of lake trout in Wisconsin this morning, pretty quick. And uh, we got reset up in Michigan waters now. And um, I'm gonna just tell you exactly what we caught these fish on this morning. So we're using what's called a flasher fly setup on dipsies. And this is the, probably the best way to get down to where the fish are and have enough flash to really attract them. So what this rig consists of is a dipsy diver, 
which you can buy these at Fleet Farm or I'll leave a link in the description for all this stuff too. But basically what this is, is it's a lever trip diver with a weight on the front and that's going to dive down and get your bait down to, depending on the size of the diver, anywhere from about 40 to up to 100 feet. So um, we're using that and this is called a snubber. The reason we put this on here is a little shock absorber so when that fish hits that bait it doesn't break off. And then we're putting about, I like to put about 10 to 12 feet a liter off my Dipsy. 12 feet back I'm putting a flasher. This is a opti tackle flasher here and then I'm running about three times the length of the flasher back to a trolling fly and that so far today has been our best setup. Right now I've got a dipsy on each side of the boat straight off the back. One's down about 50 feet, one's down about 80 feet. We're trolling in about 100 feet of water. So um, like I said before, most of our action has come on this setup. Um, we did catch that one fish on lead coralline, which we've got two different rods in the boat. I've got a 10 color lead, which basically means there's 33 feet times 10, so 333 feet of lead core. And I can put as much of that straight out the back as I want to, or I can run all 10 colors off of a uh, planer board on each side, which is what we're doing. So we've got the two dipsies, we've got two planer boards with 10 color lead back to spoons, and then on the outside boards I have a six color and a four color, which means I can kind of stagger the baits a little bit and uh, we're using a couple crankbaits and a couple spoons on the other rods but so far like you said the dipsies and the flasher flies have been the hot bait so um, that's basically all we're doing uh, like i said i'll leave a link in the description for the trolling rods i'm using and all the tackle so you guys can um, stock up on it feel free to message me any questions on instagram as well i can answer those for you so let's get back to fishing and we're hooked up while we we're still setting up, so that's a good sign. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I'll take that all day. That's a beaut. Perfect eater right there. That Laker hit that spoon on the lead core, on 10 color lead. So that's kind of, it's all working today. Nice fish. So uh, we can actually keep six fish here in Michigan and um, one thing you got to do if you fish in one state and catch some fish there and you move to another state, you got to make sure that you label the fish from the first state in your cooler and leave them in the truck when you, uh, when you take off into state number two. Uh, put your name, address, what's in there and um, then you're good to go. So we want to make sure we're doing things by the book and that's how you do it if you're moving from state to state or for instance walleyes if you're going like one walleye water to another walleye water where the limit's three and you can keep five in the state you got to do the same thing you got to leave the walleyes in your truck but you got to have them labeled so that they know they're yours so that's kind of what we're doing today we got one down uh, on the michigan side here five to go and we'll have a nice really nice full bag today all right, we just saw a bunch of fish on the graph right here. We're hoping uh, one line goes off here in a second. It's kind of been what we've seen. We've been able to run over the fish and then we're getting hit usually when we see a pot of them uh, shortly after, so. Sure enough, right after we went through that pot of fish, we're hooked up. This one's actually on, uh, I think a four or six color lead way up high. Oh, that's a 10. Is this a 10? That's a 10. Oh, it is a 10. It's in the middle, yep. The same rod we caught the last one on. Right. This one's bigger, though. <laughs> that's pretty good on the it. Yeah, this one's bigger. I think. It's fighting, anyway. Yeah, because you're not fighting the thing uh, yet. No. No. Definitely not. This might be the biggest one yet. Let's pull the boat down. I think this is actually a pretty big one. We just took a bunch of drag. I'm just going to keep the trolling motor going. Okay. Well, this is a nice thing about having the autopilot on the trolling motor. 
I don't have to worry about the boat going off course while we're fighting a fish. You gotta be getting close now. Remember you have 10 colors. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Good deal. Nice fish. Oh, very nice. Very this nice. is where you don't want a horse. Very nice fat one. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Really nice laker. About a probably six, seven pounder. Perfect for eating for the smoker. That's exactly what we came up here for. And uh, any bigger than like eight pounds, and I'm gonna let them go. But this one's still in that eating size range. So that's that's a pretty fun fish to catch right there. Hopefully we can get a couple more here. Another one on the flasher fly here. We had a streak of misses. <laughs> what do we miss? Three big ones or? Two or three two big, big ones. Yeah, two big ones. Another good eating laker there. Perfect. We got like 20 minutes left and we got to pull them up, but we can catch a couple more here. But it's no big deal if we don't get a limit. You know, I only get out here probably, well, this year, this is the only time really that I've been out here. So I definitely don't mind taking a few fish. But if you're out here a lot, you know, just be careful how many fish you're taking because the resource here is limited and lake trout grow really slow so you know kind of keep track of how many you're keeping and if you catch a couple limits and just slow down a little bit and just keep what you can eat but we're gonna smoke some fish we haven't gotten any lake superior fish since last winter so we're pretty stoked yeah i was literally reeling up this line we're getting ready to go and i just got to the board and I felt a thump and a uh, fish popped it. Must have seen it speeding up and chased it down. So we can still keep three, but we got, we're picking up to go now. So this may be the last one we catch. Basically digging, eh? <laughs> Another one up. Oh, this is fish. Double up, double up. <laughs> This is a good one. Two fish on, Weldon's got a thing. I'll try and land right here. This is our second double of the day. Who needs Florida? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I can still use it. <laughs> you might just flip this one. That's what I was wondering, you might be able to do that. Oh, now I'm getting some head bobs here. Pull and drag. It wasn't done yet. Oh, this one's got some good head bulbs. You got a good one, man. Yeah, I believe so. One fish in, <laughs> one still on. He's bigger. Fish number five right there. Give me five, Weldon. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's the way awesome. to end it. Right there. Yeah, that's a nice Another one. perfect lake trail right there. Yep. We're one short of our limit here. We got a couple more lines to pull, but I think that's it for today. That's the way to go. Good day right there. You couldn't really ask for a better day of lake trout fishing. Just using uh, planer boards combined with lead core and using dipsies, flasher flies, and spoons. We didn't have a single downrigger on the boat today, so you can come out here with just minimal gear and uh, you can get into some good fishing. So you guys go ahead and get hooked up and we'll see you next time. All right, day's starting out just perfect with a flat tire, about 10 miles from the lake. So we should catch some fish today, right Weldon? All the bad luck's over already, guys.